Holy Nations Church of Memphis has been hit twice in just one month. Action News 5's Walter Murphy joining us live now. Walter, you have a message from the pastor for the people responsible for this, right? That's right, Joy. So the church has been here for 17 years, and the pastor told me that in all of those years, they haven't even had a car broken into. But now, he says, these latest strings of crimes are a sign of the times, but it's also a sign to him that he needs to work harder to reach his community. We've been here 17 years, and our church has never had anything like this happen before. Now it's happened twice in one month. Pastor Andrew Perpiner of Holy Nation Church of Memphis says this is what he found when he came to set up for weekend services on Saturday. Just a smidget of, of what's happening. Everything, glass, 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 china. At least $30,000 in damages and growing. The basketball courts have to be redone completely after vandals ruined the floors with a fire extinguisher. They also tagged the gym with gang symbols. Outside, stained glass windows are shattered. These windows were broken to give crooks access to the sanctuary, where they made away with expensive electronics the church uses to live stream their services to the world. Now the church is looking to put up security cameras throughout their campus after 17 years without them. It's a little disheartening, too, to have to put up those security cameras. Yeah, yeah, especially in a, 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 a place of faith. Pastor Perpiner says this hit on his church is just a sign of the times but a sign he's taking as a cue to get out in the community and engage. If they were standing right here in front of me, I would say this, um, let's talk. Um, no, uh, I, I wish no ill on anyone because these things are manifestations of a greater hurt. Now the pastor tells me that the first step is to finish the cleanup. Next step is to meet with city leaders about ways he and other faith leaders can do more to continue the fight to make sure that crimes like this don't happen. Reporting live in Memphis, I'm Walter Murphy, Action News 5.